yeah. invest in one of them anyway okay. if you're gonna right. they'll give you like uh -huh. really good tits and ass mm, okay you know. um the idea behind this is uh i'm gonna drag up as part of my 50th birthday celebrations and the reason for dragging up is because as you can see i'm not a very girly girl and I think it's over, probably over 40 years since I wore a dress. Wow. And it's probably nearly 30 years since I wore a skirt. It's a really long time. So I thought, as a thing, it would be really funny to drag up for my 50th birthday. And in the meantime, raise a bit of money for Liverpool Prize. Oh yeah, of course. So raised over £500 already. Brilliant. If I say I'm going to do this. Well because yes. I think people really want to have a good laugh. So it's been really worth doing. And the other thing about it is, uh, I really love drag and I'm really um, interested in it and I've always been fascinated by it. And right, I, think, yeah. um, I think drag artists are artists and I think that often gets forgotten. Yeah. And people tend to think of drag as a bit of entertainment when actually it's got a real tradition and a real history. And it's really amazing. So I wouldn't like anybody to think I was trying to take the mickey or oh, demeaning yeah, it yeah. or doing anything yeah. like that. It's really out of the love of it. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. And I think I'm going. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to think I take try to hold you low. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Face one is pure, like little moisturiser, nice little facial as you're doing it mm. as well. And do yeah. remember to go in this way and that way to lift up and move out all these little lines. Well, they're not lines, it's just, just your stress and anxieties that's oh, I'm taking yeah. away. This feels brilliant. Uh, so, can I come down this is just a, <laughs> This is just a quick little facial because I want. The moisture to sleep in because you've got beautiful moist skin anyway, Joe. And you really have, yeah, you yeah. have. You've got lovely skin, it's really beautiful. So that looks like it's quite gone in now. So if you just relax or have a little glass of wine while we go and do phase two. My mum always had amazing skin, she, she didn't really wrinkle till she was in her 60s. It's absolutely amazing. She only ever wore maybe a bit of lipstick and tiny bit. Tiny bit of eye makeup, she wasn't a big makeup person. This is hilarious. The cleaner of the Lisbon friend of mine, and um, we met over glitter on the floor, and she was actually <laughs> human. And then um, she, she got this somehow and passed it on to me. And it was just like it's all different um, foundations, if you like, and all the different mm -hmm. colors. Um, I blend into one anyway because mm -hmm. it just gives a different texture to the skin. When I apply this, so okay. if you can lie back You're down back. again. Okay. And here That's we go. So I treat this like being a paintboard for myself, just to outline what I'm doing when I'm sort of doing my own makeup. I mean, people say to me, I've never seen anyone do makeup the way you do, because I always do my own, really. So, come up with a drag name. Oh, yeah. And it was Anne who came up with it, really. Because <laughs> the frock is better. Well, I think it makes me look like a Victorian boat to see it. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm a big woman. Um, Anne came up with both to see a burnout. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so, she's a big red and silver both to see her, basically. What's yeah. the one who sits on top of the, um, the town hall? What's her name? It's Minerva for Wisdom. Now, most drag queens all use cover stick. It's mm -hmm. brilliant for the base because it's like, um, it hides, like, everything. <laughs> I probably got as much stubble as, as some um, of your drag queens as well. So. It's our <laughs> supplies really, because if you spread it evenly, you can make it last. Mm -hmm. Some people just like have to completely just cover themselves in it, but mm -hmm. I didn't do that. I mean, I've always had my own look because my image when I was a lot younger, I didn't even need makeup, a little bit of mascara and eyeliner, and people just thought I was a real woman anyway, but I was even put makeup on, I had this androgynous look going no, on. But it was like, as soon as I put eyeliner and Mazzy on, it was like it became more femme looking. Like, the way girls wear makeup. Yeah. I just think over the years, I like with the people I work with, they're so glam at their makeup. You know, Vivian's a genius at makeup. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sort of like it rubs off on you. 
you know, I've always had my own little style, it's you know, my own look. But never really go for the um, like the proper glam look and understanding what makeup can do. Because I used to just throw any owl makeup on. <laughs> really, just a tiny little bit, just mm -hmm. to enhance my inner beauty. But you you, you learn loads yeah. about light and being flawless as you go along with it all. You have got the most beautiful face as well. I mean, that's, you know, it's a God-given thing. That really is it, that you've always had that. A funny looking face. No, uh, funny looking face. Androgynous. Well, I've had a goal, haven't I? Well, that's a very strong face, I think. Yeah, it's a good face. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! She's got that many faces there. There's a guy <laughs> who comes to the club and he's, every week when he sees me, he says, God, you look so different every time. I go, well, I think that's because I'm a real transformer. And it's like, I think I can do characters more so than mm. being my own alter ego, whatever that is. You know what I mean? I do, because when I was first thinking about this, um, and Anna and I were talking about, you know, I was go going to wear women, well, well, women's clothes is not really now, but... We're talking about it, and I was saying, well, actually, I think I'd rather be a drag character because yeah. I think I'm happier with that. Right, this is like an old Hollywood trick. Oh. Because you've got dark um, mm -hmm. eyebrows, mm -hmm. we're going to make them disappear. <laughs> Brilliant. And so, let's pluck them a bit more as well, don't I? We I not thought on. I was thinking on the bus on the way here, thinking, oh my God, they're like trees, my eyebrows. Oh, that, that bleach is going on well. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Going into work tomorrow, bleached eyebrows. <laughs> I have tried makeup before, and I think it was when I was a student. And, um, you know, when you're sort of 18, 19, friends around you going, oh, you know, you should try it, you should try it. But I never felt it was me. And I think when you're that age, you're not very confident anyway. And you don't know who you are anyway. So a thing that changes you into something you don't recognise is quite scary, I think. Mm. Um, Whereas I think now people are more... I, what the biggest no, thing I've noticed about young people now is they're much more open to trying things out and they're not as fixed in who they think they are. Yeah. You know, and I think that's a huge plus. Yeah. I think, I think they're Definitely. a lucky generation. And I don't necessarily mean it's any easier to come out as gay or trans, um, but it is easier to kind of have more than one identity, really. Do you remember the first time you encountered each other? Like the first time you was a nose to show and a vice versa. It would be the Everyman. Well, it would have been in the 80s. Yeah, late 80s. Yeah. So I, because I, I um, lived away, I lived in Newcastle. Um, so I think I started working at the Everyman in March 1988. Yeah. So, um, well, we were still doing uh, Hollywood TNT then. That's right. With yeah. Brian King and yeah. Jerry Potter and yeah. everyone. And Mickey, it was brilliant. It was an amazing place to go because meeting all of you, uh, I was, I'm from, not from Liverpool, I'm, I'm from the town just outside Liverpool, and I didn't know any happy gay people. Mm. And suddenly I was in the Everman and there were a lot of gay people and lesbian <laughs> and everybody in between and black people, white people, people with disability, yeah. people without disability. And very and, talented. And nobody was yeah. bothered about who anyone yeah. was and I think that's very liberating. And I've just met all these really creative people. Yeah. And what was lovely was that people were working at the theatre, but they all, you were also all doing your own things as well. Yeah. Like all like Hollywood TNT, um, Sex and Violence Theatre, yeah. Life for, the, for some of the others. And uh, it was just like being in this hotbed of really creative people. Yeah. And thinking, amazing. actually, I can come out here. It did still take me ages. <laughs> it took me about three years to come out of the closet. Um, it's 25 years ago since I came out of the closet, actually. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it if I hadn't been around you. What is a woman? I've, I've often had people say to me things like, but don't you want to dress like a real woman? And that's very interesting to me. That's an awful thing to say. It's what, very interesting. What is a real woman? So I always wear men's clothes. You know, a lot of my clothes are men's clothes. Um, I don't think I'm that masculine at all. No, you're not. No, no. I think it's, it's interesting, isn't you're it? You're not what I call butch. No. I don't wear makeup. Don't do my hair. Going to see her, she she was quite a warrior. Yeah, she was. Um, she lost in the end, but she, you know, she didn't give up with that fight. She did well after, she did, you know. Right, hang on. I need another brush. <laughs>
It's amazing, isn't it? You're getting the bus home like that, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> I've got baby now. Nice. You want to get on the 16? <laughs> I'll be made up. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I'm not sure I'm brave enough to do that. I'm not sure I'm brave enough. I don't know. Oh my god. Like, oh. Do you know what? I, I feel Chinese from you, you know? I'm getting Chinese. No, that's very funny you should say that. Because uh, in my mum, my mum's family got very strong look, and me and my yeah. brother look like my mum's family, even though our character yeah. is probably a bit more like our dad, who is a very quiet man. Obviously, I don't inherit the quiet bit. But in our family, and I hope nobody ever takes offence at this, but um, we've got uh, my cousin and my brother, when they were children, particularly, people used to say, Oh, are you part Chinese? Because both mm. of them have got very beautiful eyes, actually. And um, it's funny, somebody pointed it out, uh, they saw a photograph of my brother as a child at home and said, oh, is that your brother? And they sort of looked at me and looked at him, oh. Uh, so it's very interesting you should say that. Mm, wow, amazing. Now we're from Merseyside. Who yeah. knows, who, back in the day, who's from where? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, please just relax. Yeah, yeah. 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 Proud to start with. Joan is the anime Wong of New Brighton. <laughs> she yeah. certainly is. Yeah. I'll have to show you a picture. Open that one quickly. That's so great. Oh, first time. Great. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. They make such I love it when you when you turn and you see a face in profile and you see them. Yeah. It's when you like, see them there. Yeah. Now I feel like a bit more drag. Turn to your side. Look in the mirror. I'm trying to think what shade of lipstick my mum used to wear. She only ever really wore lipstick, tiny bit of lipstick. That was kind of pinky reddy colour. I couldn't tell you what. <laughs> oh, I look like a right madam. <laughs> you do? God, madam of the brothel. Madam Bodicea. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with you, Joe, I'm not being funny. <laughs> Bodicea burn out here, I can't. Bodicea burn out. That's great. I it? definitely wouldn't mess with you. <laughs> I'm actually a bit scared, do you know? I'm a bit scared of me. I think it might have released an inner, inner demon. In it. Smile. You look like you're a famous person. I feel kind of. Doesn't she look fa like yeah. she's famous? I, it's a kind of sort of. Mi that you flew in from somewhere. It's a little bit like. Yeah, jet -sack. Feeling as though now you'd want to go out and be so famous. You're gonna, yeah, so you're going to be a show into song, you know what I mean? my worst <laughs> nightmare. It's that horrible thing that you see happening to people yeah. when they're famous, they can't go anywhere or do anything. I can't think of yeah. it. But like. Like this, you feel like, oh, I'd be able to deal with that. Yeah. Swipe them out of my yeah. way. It automatically yeah. gives you yeah. that string in your side. The eyelashes that do it, <laughs> yeah. it? Magic things. The whole thing's amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well done. That's it, you're amazing. <laughs> uh, it really is. I'm quite like, it's like you're a totally different person. Yeah. Yeah. I must love that. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the costume's amazing because it's like, it's quite, it's, well, it's very in your face, red and silver. So, you know, I've been drinking without drinking, I think I'd do a well better job, honestly. Don't worry, yeah. without drinking, I wouldn't have been able to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, absolutely fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, she great. looks amazing. Thank you so much. That's just oh, you're a welcome. really lovely thing to spend all that time. Oh, you're more that. than welcome. I wow. just love seeing I just, what like, you're It's doing a real too. insight into. Yeah. Hey, set off, set off. Whatever. Sera, sera. What will be, will be. Que sera, sera. Cheers. Cheers. You've done a fantastic job. <laughs> I love you too.